He cried for the first time in 19 years. I have never seen tears when he cried two weeks ago, three weeks ago, to come home and he was holding onto my legs to, and pulling me out, you know. Uh, that shows how much he wants to come home. And he says, Mommy, still go home. Stephen has severe autism with severe challenging behaviors uh, and some of those behaviors include self-harming. If Stephen gets bored, you know, doesn't have much to do, he, his challenging is more apparent. So he has to keep going to a set table uh, from morning to the end of the day. His favorite pastimes to keep him really happy and uh, even being able to sleep is if we take him for long walks. Um, he, Stephen loves going horse riding. He loves rock climbing. He loves swimming and he loves walking and many other activities that he enjoys. Positive behavioural support is recognised as the best way of supporting people who have a learning disability and or autism who display behaviour that challenges or are at risk of displaying behaviour that challenges. In Stephen's case, this was understanding that he needs a predictable routine for his life and lots of physical activity and lots of time spent outdoors and his mum was able to provide this. Unfortunately, like many people who have a learning disability or autism and um, who display behaviour that challenges, Stephen was admitted to a hospital and ended up staying there for a considerable amount of time, such as that is now effectively his home. Even in the best of hospitals, there are facets of being there that will be extremely unpleasant and damaging. Things like personal space, things like lighting, heating, machines clicking and buzzing, phones ringing, are things that people with autism particularly find difficult and stressful. It raises their stress levels and means that all the ways they might have learned to cope with their behaviour, to express themselves without displaying behaviour that challenges, they're not going to be able to do that. They're not going to be able to put that into practice. Um, so he is in this place where he's more or less locked up 24-7. So he doesn't have a, a quality of life, he doesn't have any life outside the building, and hence him having all these episodes, long, frustrating episodes. I honestly feel that Stephen would be much happier if he is with his family, and I know for sure. And some of the stuff were really good. You know, some are really great stuff. And they have admitted themselves. They say, we, we see the difference when you come, when you arrive. Stephen might be having a really bad moment. And as soon as we tell Stephen, mommy's here, he changes completely. People like Stephen can move out of hospital, they can have meaningful, fulfilling lives, relationships, busy, active lives, or quiet, sedentary lives, just like everybody else. They can be supported to build a lifestyle that suits them, where they're part of the local community and they're contributing to their local community. 
that Stephen knows what he wants. He wants to come home. He wants his family. And there's no one else who's going to give him that love but us. And I wish you could see on camera how my son is with us, with us as a family, you know. Um, how he, he looks at you and he hugs you, you know, and he stares at you like this and he gives this tiny little smile. 